This is Nancy from NatureWorks on a beautiful January day. And I wanted to show you what it looks like if you leave the leaves in your garden. So many people are afraid to do this. Not me. I have a lot of leaves in my garden and they're acting as mulch. I don't use shredded bark mulch in my garden. I also don't cut everything down. For example, I leave up all my mums until the spring. If you don't want to do that, leave at least this much up, about 12 inches, 8 inches, because the stubs collect the leaves and protect the crowns, which are very shallow. Um, I leave up the Allium Ozawa because I'm hoping it self sows. Look at how beautiful the Ajuka Caitlin's Giant is. I've been slowly adding that in amongst the Black Mondo grass. So, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I could never do this. Well, guess what? It's easy to do. And then you get gifts, like here's a self sown American holly that I'm going to pop out of the ground in the spring and put along my new border when um, the weather warms up. So, you know, this is just the way it works at this time of year. Now I leave those asters up in the back because the seeds may self sow. I, there's a lupin, I can read the garden and see the lupin is happy, the one I planted in the fall. This is one of the, um, the, the West County series. So. You know, it, it may not look amazing if this drives you nuts and you don't want to see the dead flowers. Just cut the stem off there and leave a stub. That way the stubs collect the leaves and then you do the final cleanup in the spring. So consider doing this. It really makes a difference. So many creatures live in the leaves over the winter. The leaves break down and feed the soil and you don't have to keep adding mulch if you use leaves. This is Nancy from NatureWorks saying, Leave the leaves, people. And Buddy says, hi, everybody. Bye.